If your map knowledge is a little sketchy, let us firstly explain where the Philippines are located. It's situated in Southeast Asia and is made up of 7,671 islands. The capital is Manila and has a population of roughly 100 million people. We're heading there today to take in some of the strangest things that you can find. It's definitely well worth a visit in the future. Number 24, if the shoe fits. We begin with the extraordinary and head to Mara Canal, where you will find the world's biggest pair of shoes. We're not just saying that either. The Guinness Book of World Records agrees, and the shoes entered the record books in 2002. 30 people can fit inside the shoes, and it took 10 people 77 days to make them. They measure 17 feet long and 8 feet wide and cost over 2 million Philippine pesos to make. Number 23, prepare to be thrilled. If you're a regular on YouTube, you would have no doubt seen a video of the Filipino prisoners performing Thriller. The guys do an incredible rendition of the hit single by Michael Jackson, and you can even go and watch the performance live on the last Saturday of each month. 1,500 men dance in perfect unison, and you can buy your souvenirs when you're there too. Some performers have been asked to perform in shows, but whether that's actually happened, we're highly doubtful. Number 22, live a little. If you're going to head to a foreign country, you have to at least indulge in one local dish. And if you survive this one, you'll be hailed a hero by your friends and family. This is balut, a boiled, fertilized duck egg dish. You can buy yours from a street vendor. Granted, it's an acquired taste. Balut is a pretty popular snack and enjoyed by locals over a beer and maybe a chat with friends. Number 21, tickle the ivories. Whether you're a music lover or not, you can't help but appreciate the sheer beauty of the bamboo organ at Las Piñas. Manila is home to many beautiful churches, but it's the St. Joseph Parish Church, or the Las Piñas Church as it's known, that is home to this majestic instrument. During the early 1800s, Father Diego Serra wanted to build a beautiful organ for his church. It was difficult, time-consuming, and costly to get the right materials, so he made use of the abundant supply of bamboo in the area. And that's how the bamboo organ came into being. It was fully restored in the 1970s, and you can hear the beautiful music during Mass every week. Number 20. Take a ride. If you really want to feel like a local in the Philippines, take a ride on a jeepney. They're always bright and colorful and crammed full of passengers. Fare is pretty cheap, partly because there's no aircon and partly because there's no such thing as personal space on these vehicles. Best you go quickly to get a ride on each one of these beauties as the government are rolling out plans to phase many of them out by 2019. Number 19, Chocoholic. Called the Chocolate Hills, this beautiful landscape is a real draw card for tourists to the island of Bohol, particularly during the dry season when these chocolate hills are visible. There's a gorgeous lookout point where you can view the 1,268 hills. Perfect spot to pop the question to that special person in your life. One myth tells the story of a giant who lost the love of his life, and those were his tears of sorrow. Hold on to a jeepney to get there, or choose a habal habal. A sense of freedom you'll feel on the little motorbike will never be forgotten. Number 18, I Spy. If you're fortunate enough to be heading to the Philippines, keep an eye out for a tamara. These stunning animals have been on the critically endangered list since 2000. They're also called Mindoro dwarf buffaloes, and they're the only bovine endemic to the Philippines and is the largest mammal native to the Philippines. They're solitary animals that feed on grass, and there are roughly only 200 of them left in the wild. Number 17, healing powers. You can head to this next spot just to view the surreal waterfalls, or you can go there to do something a little stranger. Famous for its witchcraft, the islands of Visayas are made up of several islands, with one being home to Kambugahe Falls. Whilst there, if you have an ailment or injury that is bothering you, make an appointment with Hilat or Bolo Bolo. Helots are said to be born with natural healing powers, and through them, you'll find much relief to your aches and pains. Bolo Bolos, on the other hand, use a cup, straw, and a special stone to help clear infections from your skin. Number 16, just hanging around. A not-to-be-missed place to visit is the town of Sagata, where you will witness these hanging caskets. Although much of the Philippines is steeped in Christianity, there are still many age-old superstitions and pagan traditions that are still practiced, this being one of them. Various theories as to why they're hanging, but the most common is that they believe it brings their bodies closer to the gods. It's truly a sight that you will long remember. Number 15, a wet weekend. 
You wouldn't mind, though, if you were spending it at Asik Asik Falls, which is an awe-inspiring waterfall that was only discovered in 2010. Residents of Sitio Dulao only came to know of the site due to a series of forest fires and then flooding, which destroyed huge amounts of forests that was blocking the view. It was named Asik Asik, which means sprinkle, sprinkle. It's not too challenging to get there. As long as you can manage many stairs, you'll be fine. The view will literally take your breath away. Number 14, the world's smallest. Might be hard to spot, but definitely worth it to be on the lookout for one. This is one of the smallest primates in the world, called the Philippine tarsier. This nocturnal animal is usually found on the islands of Samar, Leyte, Bohol, and Mindanao. Tarsiers are more closely related to lemurs and lorises, and not monkeys, as many like to believe. Number 13, drink up. It's a quite common sight to see people drinking soda from a plastic bag. These are often bought at roadside vendors. Number 12, eat up. So you've drank your soda and it's time for dinner. Why not try sisig? This is a popular Filipino dish that involves chopping up boiled pig's ear and liver and dishing it out with a healthy serving of chili peppers and vinegar. The word sisig translated means to snack on something sour. The dish was said to be invented by Lucita Cunanan in the 70s and it's brought fame not only to her, but her restaurant too. Number 11, only in the Philippines. In the Philippines, the capiz shell is an extremely popular interior design item. The material of the shell is often used as a glass substitute and gives a feeling of warmth and nostalgia in many Filipino homes, particularly those of the older generation. The shell comes from an oyster called lampirong, which is considered a delicacy amongst the locals. The shell is used in window panes, lanterns, chandeliers, and other decorative items. Number 10, only for the very brave. Head on over to Davao City, Davao del Sur, and you can do what the locals do and get massaged by a giant snake. It's an 88-pound Burmese python that is said to be well-trained, literally slithering all over you. Number nine, you wear it well. We're not sure that this will be the next big thing, but truthfully, we kind of hope it isn't. In the Philippines, you can buy yourself a frog coin purse or a handbag made from an actual 100% pure frog. You can choose to have it with or without legs. Be prepared to answer a lot of questions about this one though. Number eight, sensory overload. This sublime dessert is about to tick all the right boxes when it comes to desserts. You'll have to be on the lookout for the vendors who are balancing a wooden yoke on their shoulders with two large aluminum buckets on either side. Inside those buckets are mouthfuls of heaven, AKA Taho. It's a sweet mixture of tofu, sago, pearls, and syrup. And just looking at the dessert is a thing of beauty. The tofu is the consistency of a fine custard, and this comfort food is either drunk through a straw, eaten with a spoon, or slurped up in one greedy gulp. Number seven, sticking to pudding. As the Filipinos seem to know what they're doing, this is another strange dish that is oddly perfect. Called halo halo, this is a mixture of shaved ice and evaporated milk, and you can add anything to the mix, including jello, fruits, or sweet beans. It almost looks too beautiful to eat, but note, we said almost. Number six, living in a fantasy world. This is an abandoned theme park in the Philippines called Fantasy World. It was meant to be the Philippines' answer to Disneyland, but it didn't quite work out that way. The person building the park had to forego his dream due to financial issues. Now the castle and the buildings are falling apart and never saw one single happy child. You, however, are welcome to go and check it out for yourself. There are some really incredible photos you can take at this strange location. Number five, now you see it, now you don't. This is the Lauag Sinking Bell Tower, and it's one of the most famous landmarks in the city. Said to be the tallest and most solid bell tower in the Philippines, this tower is 150 feet tall and was built in 1612 by the Augustinians. Due to the fact that the tower is so heavy, it is gradually sinking. Add to that, the fact that it was built on sandy foundations, it's amazing it's still even here. Number four, I scream, you scream, and well, you know the rest. Over in the Philippines, they have an ice cream that is a little more unusual than what you're used to. They have the regular flavors like your chocolate and your vanilla, but they also have their queso flavor, which is cheese. It's as common as ordering a vanilla cone. The guys selling the ice cream on the street often call the ice cream dirty ice cream, not because it's dirty, but rather that it's dirt cheap. The queso blend is a mix of cheese, sweet cream, and sometimes bright orange bits of cheese too. Number three, nice rice. The rice terraces are quite something, so special in fact that they are a UNESCO heritage site and have often been dubbed the eighth wonder of the world. So not technically an actual wonder then, but clearly special nevertheless. Even more so when considering they were created by the indigenous people of the area around 2000 years ago without machinery. 
Number two, I'm the broth. Ingredients, herbs, spices, human, method. Place pot over flame and add herbs and spices. Stir vigorously, add human or two, and allow to simmer. Allow humans to enjoy hot, spicy herbal bath. Tip, ensure none of the assistants have a bone pierced through their nose cartilage before proceeding. Number one, take a wild ride. The habal habal is one of the most common forms of transport in the Philippines, born out of necessity for cost-effective go-anywhere transport. Not that bad for one or two passengers, right? See, it even has a shade cover. Try six people and their luggage, and the laws of physics come into play in a whole new way. Are those really old-school drum brakes on the front wheel we see? Why, yes, indeed they are. And suddenly we feel like walking. Have you ever been to the Philippines? Do you live in the Philippines? If so, what is the highlight for you? Let us know in the comments below and subscribe to our channel for more daily videos.